Hi, my name is Anna Faru, and I am going to be a guest on the Online Prosperity Show with Prosper. And we are going to talk about how I went from making 550 US dollars in the first two years of my business to making 100K in five months and helping my clients to make over 2.7 million US dollars collectively. I am a business and mindset coach for coaches, and I will be sharing with you how you can use high ticket coaching and relationship based sales that are not slimy, not icky, in order to really make your coaching or consultancy uh, business take off. Welcome. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, five years later, I've brought back Anna Furu. Anna, how are you doing, my love? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Prosper, for having me again. Absolutely. It's been five years since your last video with us um, where we spoke about mindfulness, and that was in 20. 17 and you've come back bigger better and mightier obviously for those that are going to be watching anna for the first time anna is a business and mindset coach who helps coaches consultants and strategists scale while working less through high ticket coaching and she also have has a method called relationship based sales now anna's clients have made a combined $2.7 million collectively over the past two years and while working between 10 to 30 hours a week. Now, Anna helps coaches make full-time income from coaching so that they can quit their nine to five and she can um, help maxed out coaches create a scalable group program that can hit up to $10,000 a month and six figures without even having to work 40 plus hours a week now when i caught up with anna um you know five years ago she was only getting started with her coaching career and i've brought her back because i've seen the work she's doing the help she's giving her clients and she is going to teach us a whole lot more of the things that she has learned throughout the five years now anna since we last spoke what has changed dramatically in your life well, what has not changed? <laughs> I was I was a little taken aback when you were like, it's five years ago. And I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, for one, you know, I'm full time since three years almost in my business. Um, I have, you know, scaled to a, you know, multi six figure coaching business and I've had the pleasure of really helping a lot of amazing, amazing uh, coaches to be able to use their unique gifts to, you know, make more money and make more impact. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been an amazing journey. <laughs> And congratulations. It's not easy. I don't know about um, where you are there in Sweden, but in Australia, um, it's almost 80% of businesses don't go past the third year mark. What has been your biggest secret to uh, stay this long in business? That is, yeah, that's a frightening statistic. It's, it's crazy. Uh, my, my secret is really my um, grit, you know, my resilience and also, so that's like one aspect of it. Uh, the other is my, my mission, my why, my deep core belief and passion in really helping, um, you know, women to be able to use their gifts and share them with the world. Because I believe that that is really the key to fix all the issues that we have with, you know, politics, environment, all of it. We need more women to who are heart centered, empathetic, intuitive, high achievers to really step up and you know share the share the amazing stuff that they can give um with the world absolutely so when i spoke to you you were earning 30 dollars an hour but now <laughs> you 
<laughs> I wasn't actually, no, that's too much, Prosper. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, but in the two <laughs> years that you worked, you earned about 550 yeah. US dollars for two years. And now you are helping people uh, make over $2.7 million collectively. How has that sort of change impacted who you are as a person? Yeah, um, it's it's made me feel a deep sense of peace and fulfillment because it's really like sometimes I look at the number and I'm like, really, really, like, oh my god, you know. Um, but it's it's just amazing because I know that the the women I've helped, they are really these amazing powerhouses who are truly making an impact. And I feel honored and privileged to be able to have helped them. So yeah. Absolutely. On your journey, when you were getting started, you stopped by the Guru Casino, where obviously people were telling you to bet all your money. How much money did you actually lose while you were trying to establish yourself? Uh, such a good, the good question, but painful. <laughs> Um, I, before I started making money myself, I, I spent, um, 10,000 us dollars and I made 550 bucks back from that. That's a her, her, high return on investment, right? <laughs> yeah. So that really, really sucked. So the, I meet a lot of coaches who are like, and uh, I really want to, you know, make a bigger impact and uh, help people, you know, but I just, I've invested and it hasn't paid off. And so I feel really scared to invest or I don't want to invest until I, I have success. And I can so relate to that, you know, I'm, I'm sure you, you can too. But what I've found is that unless you are starting your coaching business, and you already are an expert marketer, salesperson, um, you know, content creator, all those things, uh, coach, we do need to kind of invest to be able to learn those things so that we can get clients. And um, we'd never invest in something for Wayne, you know, it's like I've, I, some of the investments I made, which you know, <laughs> into the big gurus, they were teaching me strategies that were working really well for them when they had a, you know, seven figure, multi seven figure business. Uh, they were selling low tickets and, you know, I've all kinds of stuff, memberships, whatnot. And I was like, oh, that's super sexy. Um, I need to do that too. But the problem is that I can't use the same strategies when I'm not making even, you know, thousand dollars per month, uh, as someone who is making a hundred thousand dollars a month that's just not how it works and so I had to kind of trial and error my way to the realization that I need to do something different some people would have given up ten thousand is a lot of money to invest what kept you going on yeah well I I, I just I personally I would say that coaching is a calling it's a vocation you know and i see this in many coaches there are some coaches who just go into it for the money uh and or you know i don't know maybe some even do it for fame i don't know <laughs> i haven't met a lot of those fortunately but but there are those who just go into it kind of with like oh, i want to make more money uh fast and some of them really succeed but I've, I've seen this um, with coaches that if you don't have this burning desire to really help people, you know, you're not going to be long lasted. And so that's really what, what has, what kept me going. Cause I was like, I don't, I don't care. I, I'm going to help people. Like this is, this is what I dreamt of since I was a little girl and here I've discovered it. And yes, I, have a lot to learn to be able to do this full time, but I'm, this is it. This is my life path. Fantastic. And, and that's, that's a really strong why, because if you can draw from who you were as a little girl that wrote in her diary that she wanted to be a coach, 
and moving on to helping people at least being paid as a teacher and now you're helping other people be doing have a happier existence how did you manage to reinvent the person who's lost ten thousand dollars to the person who is now um you know helping all of these people say you know make up to 2.7 million dollars what, what did you change within either yourself or your business that actually then got you to get to those numbers 100 percent. i'm going to share the strategy or method as well obviously because we want that but the biggest shift that i want to say first is uh like we were talking about the mindset i was like you know i would coach for free i love coaching it it just lights up my soul. And so that for me, that was like, well, it's a no brainer for me. I'm going to do this regardless because I have the privilege to do this. You know, I just want to briefly share the story of my grandmother. Uh, she was living in uh, a very, very small rural, not even a town, like a little <laughs> village, whatever, not even that um, in, you know, the, the deep woods of Sweden. Uh, she was born in 1910 and, um, you know, she, she went to school six years and she had to work at this like, uh, gas station, which she didn't love. And she was, she had that fire in her. She wanted to do something with her life. So she even, but she, she you know, her, her dad didn't, couldn't afford to pay school for her only for her, uh, big oldest brother, you know? And so she was hustling with that until she came to an age where she was able to buy an English uh, book or something. And she started to study English, Prosper, on her own, reading it in horrible Swinglish, you know, accent. It was just crazy. But she was so driven. And then she went to, you know, educate herself as a, a beauty therapist and stuff like that. And you know, she didn't have the options that I have and you have and we all have today. So I feel like it's, it's just like, why not use it? Like, yeah, it's not going to be super easy in the beginning. But if this is what you want to do, if you want to help people, if you want to use those gifts that you have inside of you, that your boss, your colleagues, whatever at your corporate job are not appreciating, you know, of course, it's worth it. Absolutely. And you did mention a really valuable, um, you know, uh, aspect there that we now have tools at our disposal. Look at this. You're in Sweden. I'm here in Melbourne and we are communicating and connecting. We haven't met, but we've known each other for over five years now. And kudos to the um, exposure that we have based on, you know, the tools that we have at our disposal. Now, some people might be watching this and saying, oh, maybe this guy's uh, have known something or they studied something or somebody looking behind me and looking at the books and um, everything else. So I'm just probably going to look at other people on social media and maybe implicate or I mean, copy them. Um, is growing a coaching business what it looks like when people show up on social media? No. <laughs> I love that you said that. I, that's such a good question because I get that a lot. It's like, oh, everyone shows their, you know, wins and like it sounds so easy with attraction marketing and just like, you know, which. Mm, no, that's not how it starts, you know, that you just see their page 250 and you're a page 50, maybe or even less. So no, it takes a lot of dedication and like it takes a lot of training. You know the saying like uh, the ten thousand hour rule, right? It's like we've forgot we've forgotten about that in in coaching terms. You know, it takes around ten thousand hours to master uh, sales calls, to master uh, content creation and marketing. You know, it's like. Um, and we shouldn't get discouraged by that. It's just to see like it's a process and we get better and better and better, right? Uh, I feel like a lot of us just give up so easily and doesn't have to be that. It's like, if you really have a strong why and you really wanna help people, you are gonna have fun in the process, you know? 
And that's, I think that's another thing that's really helped me, you know, to, to continue and really find that success um, eventually that I didn't have in the beginning because I find it fun. You know, I love learning and I don't see it as a failure when I don't master something, you know, at the first try. Absolutely. But you would understand that um, we're brought up in a system where everything has to be perfect. You know, you have to tick a few boxes and by one year you haven't brought in any clients or you haven't brought in any sort of income, then obviously pack whatever you're doing and go back and find a job. Now you are now teaching people high ticket coaching and relationship based sales. How is that, um, you know, uh, useful to coaches who, who are probably just getting started? Yeah, it, honestly, it's the fastest route to success. That's it. Because this is what I, you know, what this is what I learned from the gurus. Because <laughs> they were teaching me like, oh, Anna, you should be selling low ticket offers like passive courses and you should start YouTube and stuff. I know you do YouTube, but also keep in mind, Prosper is a real marketing genius, you know, an expert. So I was like, okay, I just need a really big audience. And then I can sell these really, really cheap things and make millions from this. Woohoo, that's easy. <laughs> Which, you know, it's not how it works. It's um, in order to sell low ticket, if we start there, just to kind of bring you with me on why we actually want to do high ticket, which a lot of people are really like, oh, that's scary. So low ticket is not as simple as people think, because you need to be a really good marketer and content creator, like we said, in order to get a really big audience. And then you need to warm that audience up so it wants to purchase. And it's just like all the tech funnels, the oh uh, you know all the trip wires and like everything in the back end is something that people don't really take into consideration and unfortunately a lot of gurus out there are teaching that oh you can make 10k months and 100k months and whatever through low ticket coaching but it's like well you can't really do that unless you're already really good so this might sound like oh anna so you think i'm not good no that's not what i'm saying what my clients are is they're really good with coaching. That's their skill. That's their passion. They uh, have immense expertise and they're really good at helping their clients to get results. Uh, that's what they care about. They care about that, not so much, you know, becoming influencers or, you know, making, having 10 K 20, hundred K followers. That's not what's important to them. They just want to help people, you know, and the fastest way, uh, for people like that, who have a true skill and who want to coach and help people get amazing true results is high ticket coaching. Because when you do high ticket coaching, the person is so invested, not just in you, but they are so committed to their goals that they will, you know, move mountains to be able to reach those goals, which is what a high ticket investment really means. You know, it's scary to invest. I just invested 18 K into a, uh, you know, a mastermind, for example, of course that makes me, you know, uh, sweat a little bit, but it also means that I show up. I really show up because I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do this. I am going to make the most of this. Uh, and that's how your clients will react as well when they have invested a high ticket um, summit into working with you to reach a specific goal. And when you just sell low ticket stuff, you don't get that because it's like, oh, I spent what, $200 you know, there's no, there's no real skin in the game, right? So that's really why you want to do one of the reasons why you want to do a high ticket coaching, because it will get your clients the best results because they're going to, they're investing in themselves. So they're going to show up 10%, you know, 
not 10%, but <laughs> 110%, right? The other reason is, like we said, you know, if you are um, selling a product that is maybe, you know, $200 or $100, whatever, you're going to have to sell a lot of those every month in order to get to 10K months, right? I don't, don't ask me about the maths right now because I can't give you it on the spot, but that's, that's a lot of sales, right? Maybe it's like, yeah, you, you go ahead. <laughs> He's pulling out the, the calculator. <laughs> All right. So let me just give you a rundown. Let's say you want to make a million dollars. All right. You have to sell a $20, a $200 product to 5,000 people. All right. And if you sell a $500 product to 2000 people, you can make a million dollars. If you sell a $1,000 product to 1,000 people, you notice the, the higher you're going with the uh, charging, the lower the number of people that you have to deal with. If you sell a $4,000 product, you only have to sell to, um, you know, to 250 people. And the higher you go, it makes it uh, easier. And I really appreciate that whole spectrum because, if you don't pay, you don't pay attention, all right? So some people are just used to downloading free stuff or maybe just going through, um, you know, free webinars and things of that nature. If they haven't paid enough money, that will show up on their credit card statement as something they have to explain to their mother, their spouse, or somebody who actually looks after their finances, then it's something that they're not going to show up to. So I really appreciate you explaining, um, you know, that aspect there uh, so that people can actually get started. Now, somebody might be watching this show right now, Anna, and thinking to themselves, wow, I really like what uh, Anna is saying. And uh, what's the best way that people can get a hold of you? Uh, Instagram. That's my, my quarters, really. So Anna uh, Faru is my handle that's where i put all my client wins um you know i just share a lot of content to help coaches as well but i do have a website so annafuru.com absolutely i will put all the information in the bottom so that people can get um you know a um glimpse of what it is that you're doing there now Anna, you've been a tremendous success story. I mean, obviously, from where, where we last caught up to where you are now, what can people expect in the next five years when we sit back again to, um, you know, touch base to what you have been creating and what um, exciting things you've been up to? Yes. So I am committed to helping uh, 10,000 women to be able to uh become full-time coaches and uh to scale to 100k so six figures as well through their through their coaching business absolutely now i did mention a statistic which really gets a lot of people and i want to repeat it again anna that almost 80 to 85 percent of people don't go past year number uh, three in business and you are sitting at year number five right now and you're already looking into uh, what you're going to be doing for the next five years what sort of one line two line advice that you can give to somebody who's probably just getting started and he's they're waiting in line outside the guru casino holding whatever money that they have whatever hours that they have whatever greet that they have and they are about to put it on the poker table um, of deceptive Facebook ads. Skip all the, the um, shiny objects and focus on relationship building. That's it. With my method, uh, the relationship based sales system, that's what it is, you know, in order to to make money, people need to trust us. And we trust people through building relationships with them. So don't, don't worry about ads. Don't worry about fancy, you know, like get rich quick stuff. Um, you can get rich quick. You know, like I said, I made hundred K in five months, 
but I did that only after I had started to build genuine relationships on social media uh, through organic traffic and everything uh, consistently. So consistency and relationships, that's what you should focus on. Fantastic. And last but not least, Anna, you've given us a gift. Um, you know, your six figure sisterhood mastermind freebie. Can you just explain to the people that are going to be downloading this freebie, what they can expect in your, uh, 100k DM script? Yes. So this, this freebie is so good. I'm probably going to remove it as a freebie soon because it's so juicy. Everyone is like, Anna, you need to charge for this. Um, Basically, this outlines the six steps that you need to take in order to build a genuine relationship with someone on social media who can then turn into your high ticket client. And the thing is here, I just briefly want to say to anyone watching who is like, oh, my God, another DM script. Ah, oh, you know, I don't want to do cold pitching and DMing, you know, because we get you also get them, right? You know, the, the people who are like, hey, buy this, you know, and this is not what this is about. I am making a war with cold pitching, okay? <laughs> That's like, my mission is to scrap that. It doesn't work. So the solution to that is that when you build a genuine relationship with someone, actually being curious about them, genuinely wanting to get to know them just like you would if you were at a mingle party that itself will build the trust that will um turn them into a high ticket client if they're the right fit for you and you know if there's chemistry so if you're like oh i hate dming i don't want to do that it feels awkward salesy blah, blah blah this script shows you how to build a relationship with someone that can turn into your dream high ticket clients without being slimy sleazy, salesy, pushy, all those things. Fantastic. I, I love those words because at the end of the day, you do not go past three years in business without heart. And all I've heard you talk about is love, heart, chemistry, and value. And I do believe that we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we bring to the marketplace. Now, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, I've been speaking to the business and mindset coach who's helping consultants make up to $2.4 million in collective revenue. And this has all happened in the last two years, even with all the market downturns and the massive lockdowns that we've experienced experience it's all through building relationships and actually creating for and relating to your audience now anna i can't thank you enough for gracing us for the second time after five years um you know with your update as to where you are and where it is that you are going thank you so much for your time today thank you prosper thank you for the work you do you're amazing great stuff Till the next five years again, bye for now.